In the northwestern deserts of China, innovative technological devices known as desert monsters have been deployed to address the urgent issue of desertification. These advanced machines are not merely figments of imagination. They are sophisticated tools engineered to enhance soil structure, retain rainfall, and boost soil moisture. Key factors necessary for fostering plant growth. Remarkably, these devices have the capacity to transform 100,000 acres of arid land into thriving oases in just one year, working at an impressive rate of 400 acres each day. This achievement has astounded engineers from Saudi Arabia, who specialize in desert management, signaling a new direction in the global approach to tackling desertification. Let us take a close look at these machines' work and the benefits they hold for the planet. Welcome back to Just Know It 254. Before we continue, please subscribe to this channel. I promise you will have the best videos and I will make them so interesting for you to watch and learn. Please subscribe. Desertification is a significant environmental crisis exacerbated by human activities, leading to the expansion of deserts at an alarming rate. Currently, around one-third of the world's land has been converted into desert, creating profound challenges for human survival and development. This phenomenon acts like a silent predator, consuming valuable land and threatening food and water supplies while disturbing the ecological balance of the planet. Once fertile areas have turned into barren landscapes, with lush fields and livestock struggling to survive in the harsh conditions. As deserts encroach, the depletion of forest resources forces local communities to fell more trees, perpetuating a destructive cycle that accelerates desertification and endangers entire ecosystems. Addressing this pressing challenge requires urgent and sustainable interventions. Nations worldwide are ramping up efforts to combat desertification, with China emerging as a leader in this initiative. One notable method involves using grid-shaped straw mats to stabilize sand. This technique effectively reduces wind erosion, slows down the spread of desert areas, and creates favorable conditions for vegetation to thrive. After decades of dedicated effort, over 6 million acres of the Muas Desert have been effectively managed, with about 80% of it transformed into ecological oases. Moreover, in the Taklamakan Desert, China has adopted biological desert control technologies, which provide environmentally friendly and sustainable solutions. These methods focus on improving soil quality and fostering vegetation growth by enhancing the symbiotic relationships between microorganisms and plants. Such strategies have not only proven effective in controlling desertification, but have also paved the way for new global approaches to managing arid lands. In February 2024, China unveiled a groundbreaking tool in its fight against desertification, the Jemung 301, or the Desert Monster. This advanced machine integrates 80 sand-fixing devices, 30 automatic seeders, and various track vehicles, making it highly adaptable for use in desert environments. The Jemung 301 is capable of performing multiple tasks efficiently. During the sand stabilization phase, it can swiftly apply sand fixing agents, solidifying loose sandy soil and creating ideal conditions for plant growth. Test data has shown that the Jemung 301's effectiveness in stabilizing sand is 10 times greater than traditional manual methods, significantly speeding up the restoration process. In terms of tree planting, the Jemung 301 features an automatic seedling planter that can accurately place seedlings into the ground achieving an impressive survival rate of up to 97% due to its intelligent control system. This efficiency represents a nearly 90% increase compared to conventional manual methods, greatly accelerating the greening process. Additionally, the machine is equipped with track vehicles and sand barrier spreaders, allowing it to navigate the desert easily and transport necessary materials rapidly. By distributing sand barriers, it not only manages the environment but also combats wind and sand intrusion effectively. In April 2024, the Jemung 301 demonstrated its powerful capabilities during a field trial in the Kubuki Desert. Equipped with over 30 mechanical devices, it managed to plant 159 saplings in just 20 minutes, covering an acre and showcasing a significant improvement in operational efficiency. The Jemung 301 can plant trees over an expansive area of up to 2,000 acres in a single day, while simultaneously performing seedling cutting and sand barrier spreading. This remarkable versatility enables it to handle tasks across 400 acres daily, 
optimizing efficiency and restoring decertified areas into regions with greater ecological and economic potential. The impressive capabilities of the Jamung 301 have sparked significant interest among engineering communities, particularly in Saudi Arabia. With over 860,000 square kilometers of desert, which constitutes about 40% of the country's total land area, Saudi Arabia has been exploring various solutions to combat desertification. Previous methods, such as planting vegetation, constructing sand barriers, and implementing drip irrigation, have often failed due to challenging soil conditions and insufficient water. The success of the Jamung 301 offers new hope for transforming extensive desert areas into fertile lands. Saudi agricultural officials believe that greening just 10% of their desert could lead to a 20% increase in food production, significantly reducing dependence on imports. Furthermore, these newly established green zones could evolve into tourist attractions, drawing visitors to experience the contrast between golden sand dunes and lush vegetation, potentially boosting tourism revenue by at least 30%. Countries facing severe desertification, including Egypt and Australia, have expressed interest in the advancements represented by the Jamung 301. The success of this technology has initiated discussions of collaboration between Saudi officials and Chinese innovators, with the aim of implementing these machines in Saudi Arabia's desert greening initiatives. In Africa, nations like Namibia and Algeria are also looking to China's progress, hoping to adopt similar technologies for their desertification challenges. Meanwhile, environmental experts in Europe are lauding these innovations as game-changers in the fight against land degradation and climate change. They emphasize that the success of these machines could inspire more sustainable land management practices globally, potentially reversing the adverse impacts of desertification on a larger scale. The international community remains eager to see how China's groundbreaking technology can be tailored and implemented in different regions facing similar environmental challenges. In summary, China's deployment of the Jamung 301 and other advanced technologies highlights a significant potential to combat desertification on a global scale. This innovation not only offers effective solutions for transforming desert land, but also paves the way for a sustainable future for agriculture and ecological balance. What are your thoughts on these developments? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more updates.